Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Zanadine and today as part of Jay-Z Raps and Reads, I'll be rapping to you another one of my favorites, The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer gray fellow he never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to be. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch only fun. And after all this, well he needed a nice rest, yes Kevin likes sticking to what he knew best. Kevin likes sticking to what he knew best. You see, high up was safe since he liked the slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud, too big and too strange. No, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? I might think he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? Cried the roost with a super loud cheer. Yes, why? Called the dingles. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin would never been one to act fast. Said, I'm clinging to do, but it's nice that you ask. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join them down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around. Until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, tap, the sound went, whoa, this was a blow. Tap, tap, and he tap, tap, tap. Oh no, unclean, the crowd called, who would gather below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared, let go, no I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin, oh dear, I just can't. Down came the tree, and with it was bringing, crash and a wallet, and Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye, and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now come to pass. He was just fine. Why well, he felt quite first class. So when Wombot leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo out now, will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of the plan, Kevin replied, Yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do because life can be great when you try something new. Can you guys sing that with me? Check it out. Kevin from then on was always can do because life can be great when you try something new. Yes, life can be great when you try something new. Hope you enjoyed it, kids. I'll see you very soon. Take care.